So music like water would give us growth like this. Right? Look at these numbers, billions of gallons consumed of water. And these numbers, volume and producer revenues. Why buy bottled water if tap water is free? Well, in music, guaranteed quality, right? premiums such as better sound, added values, timeliness, and it's special. You think of it in a different way, so you buy it a different way. If we today went and we said, okay, two million songs are available on ISPs for flat rate, on cell phone networks, on online portals, on MySpace, on Google, on Yahoo, for a flat rate that these people will absorb to resell to their customers, would people stop buying CDs? I don't think so. They would drop to some degree, but there would be new products that I can come up with based on the flat rate, on the basic coverage. This is what happened in radio, right? People said, oh, radio is going to be bad because everybody listens to music and they, you know, they don't pay and that they won't come to the show. Didn't happen. This is the biggest paradigm shift in music since the printing press, or in, in the world, going from scarcity, where 25% in Europe on average buy music, even buy music, a little bit higher in the US and the UK, to a ubiquity model where 90% of the users would make a payment 95% for music. But in a way that we wouldn't even notice. Right? We would wrap the payment of music not as a tax, right? I'm not talking about tax here. I'm talking about an irresistible offering that offers a flat rate to people who run those platforms. And we're talking about the difference between a $20 purchase for 25% and a $3 note, which I invented, for 95% of the crowd. Where is more money? Tell me where there is more money, A, just doing flat economics, right? And also tell me which one is going to secure our future. Right? Which one is going to make sure that we get paid every time somebody listens or uses or streams, downloads and tethers and stream rips and whatever it does to the music. I don't care. I want to get paid. That is the bottom line. It's not going to happen if we stick on with the per unit model. So, radio. People are trying to uh, uh, basically uh, lock radio down. Right? The whole XM, our RAA discussion, digital audio broadcasting. Well, here's the bottom line the future of radio is music distribution. That is where radio is going. A digital stream, whether on a satellite, to the internet, whatever, is distribution. That's it. There's no argument on this. You can stream it, you can record, you can cache it, you can save it, whatever you want to call it, it's distribution. We have to give radio license for distribution. And that is part of the flat rate. We have to turn them into water suppliers. But then, of course, the RA says, radio people are pirates too. A growing form of piracy, digital stream ripping. You have to wonder if we use these military terms so that we can throw bombs, so that we can later uh, on accept defeat. I mean, what is the point of this exercise? Rupert Murdoch, a 75-year-old guy, right, brought chaos into his own company. And he says, you have to go back 500 years. Now it's the people who are taking control. I'm telling you in the music business, the people have taken control. If you don't go to the people to sell your music, you're finished. And that includes myself. We are not going to take control back to where we want it. Right? All we can do is talk to people and get them to give us money in return for the control. You see MTV flatlining, that's the tiny blue line at the bottom. Right. MTV flatlined as compared to YouTube and, and MySpace. Why is that? Because they were the central entity that told people what they liked and what they shouldn't like. And, and MySpace and YouTube came in and said, you guys tell us what you want and you do what you want. And look where they went. And we must finally rid ourselves from the obsession with selling copies. Right? This constant thing about buying now. First, I want you to sell me on the music and get me excited and suck me in. Right? Then I'm going to give you the money. You put out the toll booth too early and you say, well, it's one dollar to listen to these songs on the web. I'm off. Right? First, I want to be sold. I want to be convinced. I want to get more to find out if I want to spend the dollar. Because also, the business of selling copies is over. 
Yeah, we can still sell some copies, we're still selling some copies, but I'm telling you, this year we're looking at a 50% decline in some countries, right? We have to sell access to music, we have to make that switch now. And this guy won't help us fix it. He'll just make it worse. The new business is selling access first, and then some more, which includes copies. And I'm telling you, in three to four years, we'll have high definition, 100 terabyte physical products that people will scoop up for $50. Why? Because they see the added value, they see all the extra stuff, they like what they see, they appreciate it. it's an audiovisual product, it's special, and they'll buy that too, if we give them guaranteed digital access. So this is what we need. The light switch, the water tap. Based on these principles, and this is just a very, very top level view uh, that is being debated all, all over the place. Not prevention, but participation. That means in music, for example, not DRM, but watermarking, fingerprinting, analysis of what is being used, which is already fully in place. A new collective license for the digital use of music like radio. As soon as you publish your music, like Terry said yesterday, as soon as you publish your music, it's out there, it's going to get used. All you have to make sure is that you participate in the use in some way or the other in a smarter way than we're trying to get now. So I'm proposing a collective license that says, as soon as I publish my music, I'm part of people using it on the web, I'm part of the flat rate. The more popular my music is, the more money I'm going to make, right? And I warn you, of course, this is very Darwinistic. Coming from a German, of course, this would be kind of off. But anyway, this is extremely difficult because that means that as you are becoming more popular, you get more money, but if you're unpopular, you never see anything. And this is the reality that we're going towards. Remuneration must be based on monitoring, tracking, accounting of access and use, not on unit sales. Or not just on unit sales. And this is a big switch that we have to make. And I think we have to make it now, because we're creating currently an environment where we're incentivizing people to take our music and run off with it and never even talk to us. There's hundreds of companies who are doing this on a daily basis because they don't want to talk to anybody in the music business because there's no offering, there's no standard, there's no system in place, there's just bullshit. And that is why they're doing this. I talk to many people in this business and I hear this every day, all the time. Right? There's no process in place, we don't care. We're serving ourselves. It has become an opt-out culture. Imagine this. Ten years ago, you had to opt in and license music to actually use it. Today, you got to opt out. You got to go to YouTube and say, take down my stuff. Right? And that is our fault because we haven't provided the mechanism. So copyright is a principle. I copyright is not something I think that ultimately is an issue here. It's about the usage right. <coughs> she wants to give me a rap. So, I'm wrapping up. So, challenge your assumptions, practice uncontrol, make more money, think music, not copies, lose the obsession with hits, appoint new colonial leaders. I urge you to impeach people. I urge you to get rid of people who are damaging our industry by putting these floodgates on that are way, 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 way overdue. All they have to do is talk to their own kids. What is wrong with this business? So, in 2007, the record industry as we know it is becoming a thing of the past. You want to be in the future or you want to stay in the past? Ask yourself that question. You want to make money with music, you want to be successful, or you prefer control over money? That is the ultimate question that you have to ask yourself. So, this is, uh, I was in a rush the other day, so this is what happened. Uh, now we need to collaborate. For real. We have to bury all these things from the past because they, we won't be around to talk about this in two years. It won't matter. We need to collaborate for real. So get out in front of a changing marketplace and do it now. Stop the excuses. Stop the whining. Stop the finger pointing. Right? Go where the user goes and do it now. So thanks for listening and uh, talk to me. Here's my email address. So fire off an email if you think I'm full of shit or if you, if you think the opposite or whatever you think, you know, just don't send any attachments. Um, and download my presentation at yardpresents.com. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day here. And uh, over to the sky. Thank you.